Hey, what's up? It's your boy Vox, and today I'm going to be giving you some of my opinions in, I guess, a small striker guide, okay? And, and how I feel about the striker and stuff like that. So, as you can see, my striker is level 58. I haven't had much time to really play it, um, but the time that I have had to play BVO, it's been on the striker, if that makes sense. So, first thing we're going to get off on is answering the question that, um, one of my buddies asked inside the comment section and it was you know pretty much could i make a guide saying like you know what was the absolute need or whatever um strikers are a very versatile class like striker is one of those classes where you can put points into your main hand and use your main hand as well as using your awakening hand but you're going to be more successful just purely using awakening as far as like what the game was intend for intend to like group fights and stuff like that now there are people that play main and awakening weapon or whatever and they combo in between both of those and that makes them real monsters as far as 1v1 is concerned but in group situations you pretty much stay in your awakening all the time which is what i pretty much do right now don't don't mind where i'm at i'm in salsens like i'm i'm out here just grinding these little things and hey, look this just shows not salsens sunos or whatever but it just shows how easy it is to grind this stuff because i don't even have armor or gear on like i literally have like the worst stuff out here just grinding these things or whatever and i got my elephant i i pretty much pack my elephant with these things or whatever so anyway back to what i was saying um i purely stay in awakening um there's some main stuff that you definitely want to get First of all, get all the passives. That applies to every single class you play. No matter what class you're playing, you always want to get all your passives or whatever. It's just free. It's just free passive stats that, that go towards your everything, your, your character as a whole. Second thing is this skill right here, um, Roaring Tiger. You want to get this thing maxed um but after you max your awakening skills make sure that all your awakening skills are taken care of first before even getting this and once you got those or whatever then you can get these and you'll get 300 um health or whatever now this makes it really easy to grind um it makes it ridiculously easy to grind to be honest with you because 300 health like literally every what's the cooldown it's like a five second cooldown i believe yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a five second cooldown. Let's go out of here and try it. So there it is. And then, oh, well, it's a lot higher than five seconds. I don't know what the skills indicate. And maybe, oh, maybe that was max level. But as you see, every time I do that, it'll be like, boom, every five seconds for max level, it'll be like 300 health. So you can, it's really good. And we have three skills that do this or whatever, but. That one's probably, I believe, the only one in main or whatever that kind of gives you. Um, make sure you max out all of these. Make sure, yeah, all your awakening um, skills. You want to max all of them out. They're just really good. This isn't a class where you have to use both weapons. There's some classes that are, like, really good. Like Ninja. Ninja, to be good at a Ninja or whatever, you have to learn how to use their main hand as well. Like, I mean, not just their main hand by itself, but you have to learn how to switch back and forth um Valkis one of those classes warriors one of those classes this happily enough is not one of those classes um to be honest in the heat of battle and black desert the last thing you want to the last thing you want um is just to deal with having to switch and play multiple weapons or whatever but cut when especially when people can delete you in like a couple of seconds um there's another skill you want to get your grab here and the reason being is because it tries travels over to like um awakening so you'll be able to like kind of like double grab while keeping your awakening weapon there so because you got both of those grabs this is the cool thing about the striker so i hit e and i grab okay then i hit e again and i grab again see and it does the second grab while in awakening so you don't have to switch like other classes some classes have to switch it didn't hit the grab or whatever the striker doesn't have to do that the striker it automatically switches but then you can use something like that to go right back into awakening or one of the other skills that's the cool thing this the striker has a lot of skills that smoothly take you right back into your awakening so when you are doing your grab then that misses where you run up you can do a second grab then you can go boom look at that right back into awakening and that's really cool so 
another thing is for PVE, our ultimate is really great. Um, it just allows you not to take damage, whatever, in AoE. The AoE is really subpar, or whatever, compared to some other people's um, alts and stuff like that. But let's get into the combination. So for PvP, the ultimate sucks. It, like, you really don't want it. Each time it gets to 100%, you want to hit Z. Um, the ultimate can really line you up, like, to get killed really easily. And the reason being is because you're stuck there. And the person can know. If the person's really smart and they know how long you're going to be staying in that form, then what happens is they wait till it's just about done and they alter you. Like, they alter you and, and it instantly kills you as soon as you get out of vulnerability or whatever. So, um, just watch out for that. Let me see if I can put my pets away really fast, y'all. Y'all need to hang out for a second, little guy. So... If I get this correctly, it's it's up F, shift Q, shift F, you roll like that, then you grab, and then after you grab and slam them, use this skill. Now this is this this I know this seems very difficult. This actually took me a while to learn. Someone actually taught me this combo, and this combo works so good. It really really kills people and it, if you get them in this first initial stun it pretty much kills them i wish i had someone online or whatever that can pretty much come and be my like little test dummy but i don't sadly because i just don't everyone's afk or something like that but i'm gonna keep showing you guys until i feel that you guys got it so first you go up f shift q Right after you do shift Q, do shift F, then you do your tornado towards them, then you grab them. Once you grab them and slam them, then you use this skill, then you grab them a second time with your non awakening. Now, mind you, after you do the first grab it and this after they fall on the ground, they should be dead. They should be dead. A lot of people die before that, but if they don't die, once you finish spinning like that go right into your grab let me see if i can actually pull up some type of like key map for you guys so sorry how rough this is guys i'm <laughs> i'm really no professional like this is the only combination i'm going to be able to show you guys and you can see the key presses so it's this 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 spin then once you then you grab them while they're on the ground then you do this spin and if they should die really before you even spin but if they don't then you grab them again because you have two grabs right then you can go right back into doing whatever combination or whatever you want usually after the second grab there after the second grab if they're still alive by some miracle then just spam six on them and six calls all these guys it's really cool and same with two you can call it two and six six is a three hit combo so make sure if you're using six by pressing it on the bars um just make sure that you press it three times or whatever to get the full combination off um let me see so i think i went over everything as far as your skills go um main like i said i don't use i don't really use anything from main at all besides the passes obviously and the healing from roaring tiger um make sure you get the grab wherever it's at i believe it's all the way up here somewhere oh make sure you get flash step two if i haven't went over this and please if anybody else plays a striker or whatever where those big comments at i know people love to comment those big paragraphs on my videos like <laughs> you know what i mean like for, for stuff like this, this is what you guys need to be like really commenting and stuff like that. Um, anything that you feel that's important that you feel that I've missed. Um, as far as that combo goes, guys, I pretty much just use that in PvP. And um, when this stun is not up, if you can't catch them in the stun, I mean, you can fight with them if you want to. I don't normally fight with them. I usually get run around because all of our skills are on such short cooldown that you can pretty much just run around a tree. And by the time you go on the other side of the tree, you can go right back in 
to using all your skills again your whole combination again and the combination is really powerful it pretty much keeps them cc the whole time that you're doing a combination like it's really hard for them to get out of it um the person's only option if they get caught in it is just to spam b and just hope that hell that they they're able to like be out of it and usually they die before that if you're a really geared striker and you have a lot of ap or whatever then they'll pretty much they'll evaporate before you even get to the point of grabbing them to to be honest they'll probably evaporate from the like the first couple of hits so i'm going to show you the combination one more time boom 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 grab spin grab again but the chances of you grabbing again is just so low guys like really people shouldn't really be able to survive that sorry i didn't have anyone to practice on i mean use it on um that would have made it a lot better um to be honest if anybody wants to volunteer to to really be like you know my test or target dummy or something like that for like the next video <laughs> Feel free to do that because, like I said, the combo looks a lot nicer on a, on a person or whatever the way it sets up. Um, with no target, the character just does the skill in place, um, which is just very weird, you know. So. And when you hit 59, you get a completely different combo. I don't know how to do that combo yet because I'm not 59, but... It involves a lot of damage and it's a lot more simpler it seems like the striker is one of those classes that with level it gets a lot more simple and a lot stronger um, as far as my opinion on how I how strong I feel the striker is right now to be honest I've never not felt powerful on a striker um, I've always felt that like you know whoever like hit me was in, in for a fight was in for some like real trouble and that is some really cool notes right there. Look at that copper. Is that copper? It looks like copper, doesn't it? Whatever the hell it is. But yeah, strikers are a very strong class. Um, if you really love the idea of a striker or whatever, play it. Um, it becomes he he becomes less kung fu oriented um, when he gets his awakening and becomes more of like a brute. Um, I love it though, man. Like it's really nothing I can really say you know to express like how much i really love this class like it's kind of like a wizard mixed with like a berserker that's how i how i would describe it it's kind of like a magical berserker and it's like little it's a little bit smaller and petite and stuff like that or whatever but man it's so fun so i hope this video helped um, like I said, you guys, if I missed out on anything, please feel free to comment in the comment section below or whatever, um, giving the other striker players some of your feedback, not, not just, um, feedback on how to play the class, but give them your full opinion or whatever on how you feel about the class and make sure you at least hit 56 before, um, giving your opinion. Um, just, just for the fact that, you know, you can't really give a true opinion about the class until you've played its awakening. Um, thoroughly so the striker is one of the classes that gets just about every skill available to him um, at, at 56 when he gets his awakening um, he does have some more more skills or whatever they get but you you pretty much get the whole feeling of the striker at 56 or whatever and you you the understanding of it so thank you guys peace out comment rubber duckies and make sure to hit that notification bell and rubber duckies rubber duckies always Thank you.